With Xero, you can prepare your taxable payments annual report to submit to the ATO in three simple steps, saving you hours of manual administration. Step 1. Create a report rule which generates a list of contractors and their payments you want to include in the report. Step 2. Check that the contractor's details and included payments are correct. And finally, Step 3. Export the report from Xero to upload into the ATO portal or use it to fill out the ATO paper report. So let's see how this is done. You'll find the Taxable Payments Annual Report under Reports in the Tax Reports section. Here we start with Step 1, which is to set up rules that will produce the list of contractors and payments we want to include. We can do that by either clicking here or the Edit Report Rules button. To produce the list, we might use one simple rule, like the one that's already being used here, Payments Made to All Contacts, paid from the contractor expenses account, or some similar account that you've coded your contractor's payments to for their services. Okay, what if our contractor payments don't all get coded to the same place? Then another option would be to filter by a contact group and select all accounts. What's a contact group? Well, to digress for a moment, in your contacts list, you can create a contact group and add all your contractors that you need to report on into that group. If someone is missing from the group, then tick the contractor in question and simply add them in. Now back to our report. As mentioned, I select that contact group and select all accounts. Using this rule, we'll pick up all payments from contacts within that group. Need to narrow your list down even more? Then you can add more rules, perhaps even choosing some additional contact groups and specific account codings for those particular ones. Whatever is going to produce the list you need. So I'm only providing examples here. You can use rules in a way that suits your organization. Okay, that's step one. For step two, we need to make sure that the contractor's details and payments in the list are correct. Now I can see straight away that some of them have invalid details. So I'll need to check those out, but I'll also want to go through the entire list to make sure that I'm only including the payments I want to report on as well. This one, for example, there's no problem with the contact details, but I don't want to include this payment here. So I'll deselect that one and save. And I continue to do the same with all the contractors listed here. And for the ones with invalid details, just make sure the fields highlighted in red are filled out with the correct information. And again, if need be, deselect any payments you wish to exclude. In this case, both of these are okay, so I'll just go ahead and save. Once we're happy with our list, we move on to our third and final step, which is really easy. We simply export the file. If you're still using the ATO's paper form to file your report, then choose Export to CSV and open up the file in Excel where you can transpose the information onto the paper form. For the more automated option, the Export ATO format will produce a file in the format that you can easily upload into the ATO portal. If you have some missing or invalid details for your own organization in Xero, you'll be prompted to correct those first. But once you've done that, then you're ready to go. Job done. For full details, check out our help guide by going to Help and Get Help for this page. Easy.